Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Old Bay. Thank you for stopping by the collection room. Uh, today I'm taking a look at some old Flare comics. Um, I dug up and found these Flare Adventures, which I am not sure, uh, I believe is a different thing than these Flare First Editions. Uh, the Flare First Editions are massively thick, almost trade paperback thick um, books. And these Flare Adventures are a lot lighter. It looks like a lot thinner and original material sky marsh this is 1988 1992 uh different stuff in here from there where a lot of the flare stuff is from the 90s some of it goes back as far as the 80s from what i can tell this is a black and white one sometimes you will see flare in color most of the time uh yeah most of the time all the older stuff is black and white but i do love it when i see it in color uh, there's the She-Bat, a uh, character I'm not very experienced with, but one of the more easy to, well, not none of the heroic graphic books are easy to find, but um, it is one I have encountered. This looks like an anthology book because it's got different stories going on with stick people and stuff like that. Pretty sure I've come across that and some other issues of Flare. Is this a flip book? It apparently is. I did not know that. Champions Classics featuring the Marksman and Rose. So Rose is another hero graphics character that I have encountered. Um, she was part of the League of Champions. I have her own series. An interesting character in her own right. And of course League of Champions was based on a, a game. A superhero role-playing game. Art looks good, fairly dynamic. Panels are a little bit small and restricting, but they do break out of it at times, and that's good. That demon horn guy looks like uh, a Zabrak, and this looked like Wolverine upside down, so that's cool. Wind Raven, never heard of him. We're back to our other. So like I said, these are much smaller. But now that that has a flip book, now I'm curious if this is a flip book. It is! Champions Classics, number eight. I don't know how I did not know these. I guess I never flipped them over. I've just been sitting in there forever. This is, okay, that is a major panel there with not a whole lot going on. But I think I'm forgiving us that panel. Kind of got that wispy 80s art style thing going on. Kind of like the scary stories to tell them the dark style. At least that's what it reminds me of. Or possibly Sandman. If you do not see Sandman uh, DC Vertigo in, in, uh, inspiration in there, maybe I'm wrong. art in these is a little weaker than I would have expected. Typically the art in Flare was pretty amazing. There's more exotic fantasy. I'm going to flip to our flip book, Champions Classics, which I don't remember that many classic champion stories. Beating up a uh, Wolverine knockoff guy. There is um, uh, I think that's the old man who was Lady, or not Lady Arcane, but he was the Arcane, Sorceress Arcane, and then he passes it on to Lady Arcane, if I remember right. And he's got total beast hair. Do, do, do. Fox Bat versus the Demon, Flare in a Towel, Giant uh, Demon Master in a Battle of the Death, and find more in our penultimate issue. Not sure what that means, but we'll go with it. Uh, so yeah, Champions Classics. I did not know they had uh, various covers there. I'll leave those up. Tie into this big old thick uh, flare, first edition, The Way She Was. Uh, three excellent adventures starring the original flare. Um, I guess at one point, did they f switch over? I need, to, I need to sort out my flare continuity because it's kind of a mess. It is thrilling to see it in color, though, because I love the orange and yellow flare 
outfit. That is Elvis Kingpin. Tell me that is not Elvis Kingpin. It's totally him. I love that. That was the book rubbing, not me farting. Uh, this is beautiful cover, color work. Looks like we get some champions action going on. I feel like this is half the the page was cut off. Championship comments. Ice star. I guess it's just his name is the Fat Man, which is interesting. Man, what a thick book. This feels like a like a small town phone book. California Sin. I'm guessing there is probably four to five comic books in here. Just that many different ones done. And they even give us full cover color uh, covers. That is cool. So Champions number nine, Rapture Moon. We get the full cover. That's nice. And it's glossy. It's like they just stapled another comic inside of it. What a quirky thing. Good looking art. Nice polka dots. I don't know what's going on with this blue lady. Yeah, for some reason, I didn't know how I didn't know this, but uh, this, this yellow and orange just looks so good together. Who'd have ever thought that? I wouldn't have guessed, but it really does. I'm liking the color, I'm liking the art. It had to happen. Spark plug versus the blue bolt. They don't look like they're fighting there, honestly. This is Flair's original costume. Uh, Rapture is the blue lady's name, that I didn't know. Looks like we got some Lady Arcane going on. I just always assume that whenever you see a lady in the green outfit. The art of this is really popping. They do the facial expressions really well. I like it. I am still overwhelmed by the sheer thickness of this thing though. Like it feels like I'm on the same comic book. I just keep flipping through it because there's so much. Is he a man or a demon? Indigo. Another heroic graphics character I have not heard of. I have a feeling there's just going to be more and more of them. Become a Heroics comic survivor, uh, subscriber. Here we have another glossy cover imprinted, implanted in the middle of this thick book. That is just odd. It's so odd. It looks like it could be the last one. This guy's got flash colors going on all over him. You get a good idea of what's in here. There's a lot of monsters to be fought on that page, and somebody is fighting them. Uh, yeah, that is just a lot of them. I never liked these kind of hood masks with the little thing on the top. I don't know, I just thought they looked dumb. Um, Rose. Starring the return of Dr. Death, a wrestling ring, a wrestling match. Dr. Death, a pro wrestler. Nice. Dr. Death was a pro wrestler, actually. I think he was with Impact. He did not look like that guy, though. Wowza, wowza. Eternity Smith, be a subscriber. Um, and this looks like a back cover that is already like inserted in this book. Uh, reading is your ticket to adventure, be a hero, read a book. And it's got flair in her original yellow, orangish outfit. That's cool. Enjoy her adventures in her own magazines. Flair, deluxe format. Uh, 52 pages for three. Comics are just not for kids anymore. 
And you know, even though this is 350, that is a really, that's a deal. That is a thick, thick comic for 350. Anyway, good book, worth a purchase. Flair usually is. If you want it, go hunt it down. It's hard to find, but it's worth getting. Anyway, that's my story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you later.